Hi. Greetings from Wisdom Lord Raphael. Before we start please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification icon and don't miss any contents. This is the light novel of that time I got reincarnated as a slime. If you haven't watched previous video, I will leave the link on the description box, or you can click here. Let's start. This is Tensura Light Novel Volume 16. Tensura Light Novel. Volume 16. The End of the Game. Chapter 2. Interviews. Executive's Evolutionary Status. Part 2. The next interviewee was Gabble, who came in after dinner. Guahahaha. Because of Lord Ramuru's summons, I, Gabble, have come to visit. Today, or rather tonight, Gabble was still full of energy. I told him to be quiet, because it was night time, and offered him a seat. I asked Shuna to serve tea, and then we got down to business. You did a great job this time. Because of your efforts, everyone was able to make it back alive. You did well to endure to the end, and I'd like to thank you personally. I was grateful to Gabble, not from the standpoint of a nation, but as a personal expression. If Gabble had been unable to hold out, there would have been many casualties. Ri Ramuru Sama. I am overwhelmed by your words. Gabble burst into tears. I was so impressed. I didn't want to disturb his emotional state, so I waited for Gabble to calm down. It is all thanks to Ramuru Sama that I was able to win and even survive. That voice. I was convinced, after hearing Gadradono's whisper, that was Ramuru Sama's voice, wasn't it? Oh, so he heard CL's voice. Hm. Well, sort of. It was troublesome to explain, and since CL's existence was my trump card, it was better not to publicize it, so I decided to just go along with Gabble's misunderstanding. I knew it. I understand that it would have been an unwinnable battle if I hadn't gained that power. I have always been warned not to get carried away, so I will not claim credit to myself. Gabble replied, but there was a calmness in his expression that made me realize that he meant it. You've grown up. Haha. <laughs> Just to hear you say that, I am very grateful. In the same way as before, Gabble started crying once again. A handkerchief was not enough anymore, so I handed him a towel. Gabble's condition was just as bad, but his growth had been amazing. Name, Gabble. Existence point, 1,263,824. Race, True Dragonite. Fair Chaos Spirit, Water Spirit Dragon. Blessing, Remuru's Blessing. Title, Dragon Lord. Skill. Ultimate Gift. Psychology King Mood Maker. Intrinsic Skill. Magic Perception. Ultra Instinct. Dragon Skin. Flame Breath. Thunder Breath. Resistance. Pain Nullification. Abnormal Condition Resistance. Natural Effects Resistance. Physical. Attack Resistance. Mental Attack Resistance. Holy Demonic Attack Resistance. Before I knew it, he had become as strong as Sowie. Gabble's ultimate gift, Psychology King Mood Maker, was also a masterpiece of CL. It was not self-acquired, but that did not mean it should be disparaged. It was precisely because Gabble had the aptitude that he was able to acquire this power. The five main abilities were Thought Acceleration Change Destiny Unexpected Effects Spatial Manipulation And Multilayer Barrier But if he could fully control his overflowing power, he would also be able to learn Demon Lord Hockey. The most dangerous power was Change Destiny, which was limited to once a day, but had the potential to turn the tide of battle against an opponent who was stronger than himself. This. What would have happened if someone other than Gabble had learned it? If someone like Diablo had acquired Change Destiny, they would have become the strongest without question. When I thought about it this way, I felt that Gabble was a pretty great guy. What particularly surprised me was the way he fought. After wiping away his tears, Gabble told me about the part of the battle he was proud of, well, the enemy spear was coming at me, so I laughed and hit it with my spear. Thigh. This is. Gabble's weapon was the Vortex Spear, a unique grade magical weapon. It was said to be the secret treasure of Lizardmen, but it was still only unique grade. Nonetheless, I thought it was some kind of a joke when I heard that the Vortex Spear had defeated the mythical grade Seryu, Blue Dragon, Spear. Looks like the difference in performance does not determine the winner. Gwahahaha. <laughs> Gabble was laughing, but I thought it was obvious. If the opposing weapon was a legendary grade, then I could have forced myself to accept it, but that was no longer possible if it was a mythical grade. The only possibility was. Gabble unknowingly used his skill and added it to his Vortex Spear. Presumably, the spear only survived without being shattered because it was protected by the ultimate level of power. Well, that seems to be the case. Gabble was pretty awesome in that regard as well. 
He's actually a hard worker, though he doesn't stand out because of his usual behavior. He was a jack of all trades, who could do research, fight, and everything in between. We could expect a lot from him in the future. Regarding that vortex beer, could you leave it with me for a while? I'd like to ask Kurubi to revive it. What? That is, we let the weapon's experience be inherited and create a new one. I will provide Hihirokana for the material, so it might even be possible for it to evolve into a mythical grade. Hihirokana was still scarce, but it would not be a waste on Gabble. As a reward for this battle, I really wanted to strengthen Gabble's weapon so that he would be able to survive any tough battles ahead. If Gabble did not want to give up his ancestral weapon, then I would think of a different way to do it. By all means, please do it. Gabble left the spear with me, once again in tears. Now that he could have a superior weapon, Gabble would become even stronger. If he was recognized as a mythical grade master, his existence value would also increase. Since Gabble himself could become a semi-spiritual life form, his resistances would also increase. Gabble's subordinates, the Tenshashu, Heavenly Flying Crowd, now had an average existence value of over 200,000. I hope that they would continue to support Gabble in the future. Gabble had cried from beginning to end, but the interview still ended successfully. Late at night. In a private room of a special, members-only restaurant. Refusing the presence of the beautiful elf ladies, I faced Geld. How are you doing? I'm in good shape. I have grown accustomed to this power, so I won't be breaking any more cups. Geld laughed and drank his wine with dexterity. When held in his large hands, a normal-sized glass looked like a sake cup. Well, the reason I called you here today wasn't for anything other than you. I thought we'd drink to your comfort. I'm grateful. I feel unparalleled happiness just to hear Ramur Sama say such things. Geld was normally a calm guy, but from the look in his eyes and the excitement in his voice, I could tell he meant it. I nodded back and clinked our glasses in a toast. Then, after listening to Geld's complaints for a while, I got down to another subject. Actually, I'm going to say something that might be rude to you, if you don't mind. Of course. Whatever it is, I won't think Rimura Sama is being rude to me. No, no, I can also be insensitive, so if it bothers you, please point it out. I sometimes say things in a joking way without thinking badly about it, so I want you to tell me out loud. I was a good talker, even in elementary school, when I was talking to girls, no let's stop there. There is no black history, and I've grown up since then. Even now, I was aware of my lack of delicacy, but I still made an effort every day to refrain from saying things that people might not like. Whether my efforts had been successful or not, I didn't know. Now that I had Geld's permission, I decided to go ahead and say it. Then I'll tell you, but you can say no if you don't want to, okay? After saying that, I made a suggestion to Geld. The suggestion was, of course, whether or not to accept CL's skill alteration. Since CL's existence had to be kept a secret, I asked him, can I mess with your skills? Then Geld answered yes without hesitation. I think it is because I am this way that I made Ramura Sama worry. If you can make me stronger, I would be happy. Thank you. With that, Geld drained with glass of wine in one gulp. It wasn't a mood of compulsion, but a determined declaration from Geld, because it was natural for him to accept the offer. I nodded to Geld as I poured him another drink. Name, Geld. Existence point, 2,378,749. Race, Divine Boar. Greater Chaos Spirit, Earth Spirit Boar. Blessing, Remuru's Blessing. Title, Barrier Lord. Magic, Restoration Magic. Skill, Ultimate Gift. Gourmet King Beelzebub. Resistance. Pain Nullification. Abnormal Condition Nullification. Natural Effects Resistance. Physical Attack Resistance. Mental Attack Resistance. Holy Demonic Attack Resistance. As soon as Geld accepted my proposal, CL, who had been waiting for it, immediately did something. Geld received the ultimate gift. Gourmet King Beelzebub. Which included. Thought Acceleration. Magic Perception. Demon Lord Hockey. Ultra Speed Regeneration. Predation. Stomach. Isolation. Demand. Supply. Corrosion. Iron Wall. Grand Protection. Substitute. Spatial Manipulation. Multilayer Barrier. Keen Smell. And. Full Body Armor. The skill was like a slightly degraded version of my gluttonous King Beelzebuth, with a lot of things incorporated into it. By empowering his subordinates with Grand Protection, an entire defensive force could be formed. Geld himself was also able to use Iron Wall and Substitute to take the damage of his comrades. Corrosion was both an offensive and defensive skill that did not focus only on guarding, but was also useful for attack. It was great for Geld, who specialized in defense, to make the most of this ability. 
It was also worth noting that it was not just the skill that deserved to be praised. Rather, Geld himself was also outstanding. Geld's armor had become mythical grade and was as good as Geld's own flesh and blood. It was similar to the garments of demons and could be manifested at will by Geld. The same was true of his meat crusher weapon, as even if it were destroyed, a new one would be created immediately. After being repaired by Kurobi, the weapon was said to have a memory of remaining in that state. To be honest, I thought it seemed like a cheat. In any case, Guild's existence value had been increased by taking in the armor, and his foundation was quite sufficient. In addition to this, the acquisition of Gourmet King Beelzebub made Guild's power overwhelm even Sowies and Gabbles. The current Guild should be able to stall for time even against the three Phantom Commanders. It would be difficult to defeat the defensive geld without an extremely powerful blow. You're becoming more and more reliable. I am glad to hear that. I swear that I will continue to work with all my might to protect everyone. I smiled at geld and said that I would continue to rely on him. I went back to my room, my little haven. I was thinking about tomorrow's meetings. The meeting had only started today from dusk, so there were only five people to meet. Because everyone was busy as well, I couldn't just spend days on this. In addition to the remaining nine of the twelve guardian lords, there were also a few others I needed to meet with. At least with Apito, there was a need to be interviewed at the request of CL. It seemed to want to mess with her skills. That seemed a little too faithful to its own desires, but I couldn't deny that doing so would serve everyone well. I had no reason to stop it, so I intended to keep doing my best tomorrow. I asked Shuna to make a schedule with that intent. I also told her that Diablo and Xion would be postponed until later, so we should be able to finish everything quickly tomorrow. I was worried about Masayuki and his group, but I heard that they were also having a long meeting. I had received a brief report, but I wasn't not sure whether I should get involved or not. So, until Masayuki and the others from the Empire finished their discussion, I was going to stay out of it. Well, Velgren's presence had also become a reason for my restlessness. The current 70th floor levels had become an atmosphere that no one could approach. Vildora, for example, had long since panicked and rushed off to his room, and I was feeling slightly uneasy. It hasn't been that long since I last separated from Velgrind, but I was wondering what kind of experiences she had accumulated. All in all, I would just have to wait and see what she did. In the meantime, I would do what I have to do. As I was pondering like this, I suddenly noticed a presence. Ranga was staring at me from my shadow, his head and the tip of his nose poking out. Whoa, what a surprise. It's Ranga, you woke up safely. I was so happy that I took human form and rubbed Ranga's head and ears. The next moment, Ranga looked both happy and sad at the same time, and his ears flopped down. What's the matter? Are you feeling sick? I was worried about whether he had failed to evolve or if he was in some kind of trouble, but apparently that was not the case. Master, I missed the Great War because I overslept. He was so depressed and out of sorts. What? That's it. I do not know how to apologize, but I heard that Gobta and the others lost their chance to play an active role because of me. That's true, but it couldn't be helped. Compared to that, it was better if Ranga evolved safely and played a bigger role in the future. Even Gobta and the others were so active in their chores and secret stunts at the banquet and no one complained about you Ranga, so don't worry about it. Master, I am thrilled to hear you say that. Ranga cooed and climbed up to the floor, rubbing against me sweetly. So I cuddled his fur, enjoying his fluffiness for the first time in a long time. And now, back to the main topic. It was a good opportunity to check Ranga's status. Name, Ranga Existence Point, 4,340,084. Race, Divine Wolf. Greater Chaos Spirit, Wind Spirit Wolf. Blessing, Remuru's Blessing. Title, Star Lord. Magic, Wind Spirit Magic. Skill, Ultimate Skill. Stellar Wind King Haster. Resistance. Physical attack nullification. Natural effects nullification. Abnormal condition. Nullification. Mental attack resistance. Holy demonic attack resistance. Oh, Ranga's race also had a divine nature. I had been wondering about it for a while, but that seemed to be stronger than even the native gods worshipped in many remote areas, was that okay? With the exception of Sawi who would be treated as a subordinate deity of Benimaru, it seemed that a race would become divine once the existence value exceeded two million. I wasn't sure, but that's what I thought. We still need to collect more examples, but I am pretty sure that's the case. Hmm. Ranga had an existence value of more than 4 million. That is comparable to Benimaru without his sword. Very impressive, Ranga. Haha, ha, this is all thanks to my master. According to Ranga, this was all thanks to living in my shadow, bathed in my demon energy. Perhaps it was because he had been lurking in my shadow and absorbing magicules for so long that his evolution has been going smoothly. 
What's more, he even suddenly got a great power. It was the ultimate skill stellar win King Haster, but, it seems that Ranga, and not Veldora, had acquired it. This was definitely. Correct. It was me providing a little help. I knew it. It wasn't an ultimate gift, so Ranga probably got it on his own, but there was no way that CL didn't have a hand in it. But well, since it was a power that suited Ranga, I had no complaints. This power included the following seven abilities. Thought Acceleration. Universal Perception. Demon Lord Hockey. Weather Domination. Sound and Wind Domination. Spatial Domination. And Multi-Layer Barrier. It was so powerful that it could even be considered exceptional. I could understand the greatness of this supernatural power, which was capable of controlling even the weather. It was truly a skill worthy of Ranga. I was starting to worry about whether Gobta would be able to handle Ranga. That's all for today hope you guys enjoy it. Please check my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification icon. And don't miss any updates. Thank you for watching.